Very rarely in life will you be successful without some sort of plan towards whatever goal you're trying to accomplish. However, there are times when you have to adjust what that plan is and make it more applicable to where you're at or what you need to be doing or what your focus needs to be at the time. And I had a couple of things today in this workout that I had to go a little bit off of script uh, just to make sure that I am doing what's appropriate for what my current goals are. Um, this was supposed to be my explosive deadlift day uh, via the Cube Kingpin. And so the first exercise, um, I'm doing it the way that Brandon himself said that he does it, which is you do, instead of doing a whole bunch of low rep speed sets you do one speed set of 12 reps in under 20 seconds and so that was my goal there with 500 pounds and I was trying to go so fast I totally miscounted and ended up doing 14 reps in 20.9 seconds my friend Zach McCarley was timing me so that was two reps away from a lifetime PR without any kind of issues at all so that was kind of a cool experience um, afterwards I had the weight bump up to 525 and I did two sets of five here. I rate I rated them both around a six or a seven um, Really really easy I'm not used to pulling weights this low for any kind of work sets and I actually had to slow this second set down because um, The bar wasn't settling fast enough in between the pulls and so it was really messing with my grip But when I slow down in between the reps, uh, I have a chance to make sure that my grip doesn't get kind of wiggled out Afterwards, I moved on to, I'm calling this my primary bench assistance movement. Um, it's controlled, paused, uh, close grip work, and so this is 300 for two sets of four. This first one I rated it around an eight, I believe, and then the second set felt even better, and I think I rated that around a seven. Afterwards, I did three singles um, with my competition grip at 335, as controlled as I could manage, and tried to keep the speed up. And so that's one of the things that isn't really set to any plan right now. Because I am in my meat prep phase, I want to be practicing the movements. Um, even if it's not, you know, there's, there's a time to test, there's a time to build, but I think there's also a time to practice. And one of the things that has gotten me in trouble in the past uh, when it comes to meet time is that I don't have ex I don't have as much experience or practice with a little bit heavier weights with singles and being completely controlled on them so I never really know what's gonna happen when I get onto the platform and this is just kind of a sports practice thing if you're not used to training very often and lifting very heavy or with much frequency I don't know if it's really a great idea but in my case I train the lifts so frequently it doesn't I don't see it doing any damage to me to practice a little bit of, uh, you know, competition type stuff. That also is something that I applied to my high bar um, because this is something that I really was struggling with with my technique on uh, Tuesday's workout after my regular low bar work. And so these are not going to be pretty high bars because what I decided is that I've never established any kind of maximal effort high bar uh, benchmark. I have no idea what my high bar capabilities are. I've never trained it enough to do a max or anything close to it. So I came in and decided I was going to do uh, close to a max triple. I put 10 minutes on my on my clock and said I'm going to do work my way up to a triple and whatever I can get in that amount of time um, should be what I base the rest of my training phase off of because uh, I'm going to be using those this percentage um, for the rest of all my high bar work because I can't do it off of my low bar because my low bar and high bar are so vastly different that it would just be a waste of my time and risk myself uh, possible injury. But this was done in a 10 minute time frame after my the rest of my workout and without my knee sleeves. Normally I wear knee sleeves when I squat um, so I was actually pretty surprised. I think this is the most I'd ever done for a single and it was a while ago so hitting it for a triple with kind of crappy form but you know, the weight itself was fine, I just am not used to that. So, got some things established, got some good work in, and excited to uh, hit it again hard on Saturday. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like rating, share it with your friends, comment down below. I love talking to you guys in the comment section, it's one of my favorite things. I've said that before, but I really do mean it. Um, Q&A videos, the thread is closed, and I will be making those in the next 
week or so, probably going to set aside like a six hour block and knock them all out. I think I got over a hundred questions again, and most of those were questions within questions too. So quite a bit of talking to do. And uh, if you guys enjoyed the shirt that I was wearing and want to get one yourself, I'll link those down in the description below. As always, I am incredibly grateful for all your continued support and friendship on the interwebs, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.